Hi guys, so a little while ago on eBay I found these little Russian VFD tubes which uh, are just single digit displays and they're actually quite cheap so I thought I'd uh, just uh, experiment with them and just come up with a way of driving them that's pretty easy easily so this is what they look like And so, what I've come up with is a little Arduino shield that uh, the Arduino actually uh, drives them just through the digital pins and then the digital pins uh, go in through these um, buffers that actually step up the 5 volt signal up to 12 volts so I worked out you could just drive these things on 12 volts, DC, these ones. The main reason why I chose these VFDs instead of Nixies is uh, just because Nixies are actually a little annoying to have to drive with 100 plus volts and all that kind of thing. So this way it's just 12 volts DC, just nice and simple. Um, I'll probably link in some. Uh, I'll probably link in uh, uh, some some other videos that actually explain really well how the how the actual displays work because they they could probably explain it far better than I can. But um, essentially, on the inside, the uh, little segments are coated in a phosphor, and then. Um, so when electrons flow through the phosphor it makes it glow and then to make electrons flow through them there's actually a uh, there's like a filament that you put a positive potential on and because it's in a vacuum the electrons can be pulled towards the segments if that makes any sense and then the electrons excite the phosphor and the phosphor glows so pretty much with these the hardest thing is just working out which pins which because you've got to trace it because you've got to trace these tiny little wires all the way through to the to the other side to which you work out which one's the grid which one's the filament and uh, which one the segments are the grid there is essentially for blank blanking the display you can use that to inhibit the electrons flowing through into the phosphor so and yeah so this is just a regular arduino that's programming that's been programmed and it's pretty much just going through some pretty simple little examples and so this power it's coming through from here, this 12, 12 volt battery, just a regular 12 volt. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll have a look at the actual shield here. Now the main thing is that this Arduino is just a cheapo clone from China. And I've actually used the V in here to power, to power the display. Because that V in, at least on this board, I'm actually not so familiar with proper Arduinos, so I'm not, I, I don't know if that V in, at least on this one, that V in is connected directly to this socket. So I can just safely put in 12 volts here, it gets regulated down from this little regulator. And that regulates down to 5 volts for the Arduino. As far as I can tell on this, at least on this one, that VN is connected directly to that one. But I, I've actually never used any real Arduino. So I, I don't know. But anyway, so this, so on this shield, these chips are, I can't remember their name, but they're essentially just uh, Darlington transistor packages. So... 0142 is it? No, no, 6118. 
Yeah, 6118. So, again, essentially they're just digital buffers that step up from 5 volts to whatever VN is on these. So then you can drive these segments just with the digital 12 volts. And, uh, yeah, so that's what the back looks like. It really is just simply from the digital pins across to the 6118s. And then their outputs go straight into the pins, which then go onto the grid and the filament and all that. So that's how that works. There are some other fluorescent displays that you can actually buy at JCAR which are actually really super cheap and uh, they seem like a great bargain so I bought a few to uh, experiment with and they're actually quite nice and they glow nicely with a nice colour as well the uh, I think these are like $3 each which which uh, is a really good deal but uh, JCAR then they, they sell these chips, but they sell them for $10 each. Like $10 for just one of these chips, which is ridiculous. So I just went on eBay and found a whole bunch of these, something like $5 for 10 So yeah, these these chips you can just find, eBay, find on eBay easily. And uh, I'll, I'll link everything in below as well if it's still on eBay. So the... Uh, the displays, the chips, and I'll link in the JCAR website to this, but that'll probably only be good for Australians though. And uh, yeah, just a, a quick demo of what the sequence is. So first it just counts down, does a few spins, and it reads out pi to six decimal places, I think. And it says hello, and it does a bit of a cloverleaf pattern. And yeah, so to control the outputs, you just control them like regular Arduino digital outputs. I think I much prefer these VFDs over the Nixies just because they're so much easier to drive and you're just so much more simpler and you don't have to deal with high voltages. So yeah, that's, that's that.